Okay, now we have to find out the electric field at center of solid m square of charge density rho and radius r. <coughs> let, let, let me bring the pin. Okay, no. So if you look at this, I'll bring some other pointer. Yeah, I think the blue color one you are able to see. So we have, th this is the solid hemisphere. Exactly at its center, O, we have to find out the, the E bar at, at this particular point. That one? It feels that point to have to be determined. At point to have to determine. Okay, for that, uh, what is this solid hemisphere? How do it appear? Solid hemisphere. So this is the everyone knows. You take lemon or watermelon, cut into two equal parts. If you take this a lemon. They're just simple, simple examples like in general in the kitchen when you go there, no. So you take lemon, cut into two equal parts, then that <coughs> half of the lemon piece will become solid hemisphere. So what is the field strength exactly at the center of the hemisphere? So what is the radius of hemisphere? Let it be capital R. This has to be determined. Okay, got it now. Okay, this was the find E bar at center of solid hemisphere of charge density rho. Find radius R. Okay, how to uh, proceed like this? So let me take a pod of mountain. So for that, what I'll do is like okay, I'll assume that this hemisphere made up of a thin circular disk of thickness dy. Here, the width, let it be dl. <laughs> so we are going to get a circular disk. So what is this? There's only a circular disk. I think a pointer is on. Okay, let, let me draw that disk also. Okay, if you look at this. So this is the disk which I'm going to consider. Thin disk. Okay, what is the thickness of this? Let it be dy. So what is the radius of this? Let it be r. And this distance is what? Let me call dl. Are you noticing here? With pointer, I'm pointing it. Okay, there's a thin disk. So what is the width of that? Let it be dl. Radius is r thickness of that be dy. Okay, now it's a solid hemisphere. We have to calculate the field at point two. This one, I'll assume that the solid hemisphere made up of a thin disk of radius smaller, thickness dy and the width dl. So what is the charge contained in this elemental disk? What is the charge contained in this? So what is dq? charge of elemental disk. Okay, we'll call this as thin disk or elemental disk. Okay, fine, uh, this one. So what is the radius of this R, R, so pi R square into dy, dy is thickness. So rho pi R square dy will be the charge of elemental disk here. Thin disk or elemental disk. Let me write elemental of radius smaller. Okay, please do look at this one. Now, uh, what is further <coughs> sine theta? Look at only this particular part. Only this particular part. So what is it here? I, I, I'm showing it separately. Look at this part. Theta. So what is sine theta? dy by dl 
no, or, or say this is this is this. Huh? Let, let me keep it ds only. Hmm? Sin theta equal to uh, opposite by adjacent, so sin theta equal to dy by ds. Okay, let me write what is dy is equal to then sin theta ds. So here sin dy equals sin theta ds. Then uh, look at the bigger triangle. Looking at this triangle, what is sin theta? One more triangle, we can draw it. So here, this is r, this is theta, this is. So what is sin theta from this triangle? Opposite is <laughs> smaller. The hypotenuse is capital R. So sin theta equal to smaller by capital R. So I replace smaller by r sin theta all square. Okay, further rho pi r square sin cube theta ds. ds is the arc length here. And I'm showing all the things so that will be very easy for you. This is ds. This is the, what is ds equal to arc length? So this should be equal to how much? R d theta. So ds equal to r d theta. So finally, I'll get rho pi r cube sine cube theta d theta. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this will be the elemental charge of elemental disk. Able to notice this? I think there's a one very important thing which let me round off. Okay, after this, uh, we'll go for the next one. What is the field strength at point two? Uh, what is the field strength at point O? What is the field strength at point O? Due to elemental disk. So what is DE I should write? Field strength at point O due to elemental disk. Okay, fine. So a very simple uh, uh, idea like this. Uh, okay, where is my pointer? Mm, okay, come for this one now. So DE is equal to, so what is a, uh, like a, from where I brought this equation, huh? from where I brought this equation. So for this, what happened? Just we'll take care of, if you have a, what is the expression for electric field <laughs> on the axis of a charged disk at this particular point, what is the electric field given by sigma by two epsilon naught one minus X by under root of R square plus. What is the capital R radius of the disk? What is X distance from the center of the disk to point on the axis? Okay, fine. So sigma by two epsilon one minus x by under root of r square plus x square. So what is sigma? Sigma is what? Q by pi r square. Two epsilon naught, this one. Okay, I agree this one. This formula, and now look at this. There's a disk now. This element. What is the field strength? This will become axis. This vertical line will become axis. I wrote here. What is the field strength at point two? That should be equal to using the same formula. Field strength at point O due to elemental disk of charge dq. So, what should be formed in place of q, capital Q, dq will be the dq. Why the radius of elemental disk small r, small r, 1 minus. Here, the distance from the center to a point on the axis, the distance from the center of the disk, elemental disk to the point O, that should be equal to y. Radius of disk r square plus y square. Okay, I think this is a very important part. Huh? This one. And the next writing this equation. Okay, fine. This is hmm? okay. Now let's substitute all. What is the dq? I'll substitute the value of dq here. Rho pi r cube sine cube theta d theta by pi r square two f naught one minus. Okay, let me go for the simplification part. I think, okay, the, we'll, we'll end up with the mathematics here. Just, just two, three steps. Within the two, three steps, we are going to end up with this one. Okay, after this, uh, D is equal to, 
row uh, one, this two pi will cancel out. Check it. R cube, sin cube theta, d theta, two epsilon naught, R square. Keep it here. Uh, what is one minus y by small r square? So can we write it as cos theta from where? So from, from again, again, going back to this one. Cos theta, what you can write from here. Adjacent by, adjacent by hypotenuse. So cos theta from the diagram. cos theta is equal to y by capital R. Okay, substituting this root of r square plus y square will become capital R. So then cos theta will become this y by under root of r square plus y square will become cos theta. I'm replacing this by this one. Okay, now uh, for the next step, it will be one r r square is there no r cube is there no I'll, I'll i just like this i'll send it to the numerator it will become one by r square this one uh, what is uh, sine theta further what you can write smaller by capital r so smaller by capital r in place of this sine theta will be there sine square theta so sine cube theta one sine square theta will get eliminated will end up with only sine theta okay the limits will be now y is equal to okay rho r to epsilon 0 to pi by 2 okay look at this part and now what should be the limit 0 to pi by 2 now how to take the limits all let me show the complete diagram yeah. if this is theta equals 0 degree line no and 0 to pi by 2 the limit should be so the limit will be 0 to mm, so many other things are visible okay then, then yeah fine so the limit will be 0 to pi by 2 the limits let me the integral of sine theta so here further what happens sine theta sine theta into cos theta So I'll, I'll adjust one by two here, one by two and two. So two sine theta, cos theta will become sine two theta. Then substituting and applying the limits. So finally what happened? We'll end up with answer rho r by four epsilon naught. So what is the electric field due to solid hemisphere? It should be equal to rho r by four epsilon naught. Okay, what is the conclusion we are going to make it? I'll, I'll draw one diagram so that you'll be in a better position. Okay, if this is the solid hemisphere, what is the electric field will be rho r by